As parents or caregivers, some of the most precious cargo we'll ever carry are our children. When you're expecting a baby or transitioning your child into a new car seat, your number one priority is to keep them safe. But Michelle, with all the straps, the snaps, the anchors and the hooks, installing the seats can be confusing. Katie Boomgard takes a look at how you can be sure you are protecting our precious cargo. Automotive safety is advancing. Cars and child systems are a lot safer now than uh, they were just 10 years ago. The very first child seat went on the market in 1967. And this man was one of the engineers who made it happen. The original uh, child safety seat was for a child that could sit upright unaided in a vehicle. We also were working on a very innovative infant seat which became the first uh, rearward facing infant seat because an infant is reclined and uh, by putting the infant uh, rearward facing, we were able to protect uh, the child's head and neck and spine uh, in the event of uh, an accident. Uh, especially a frontal accident. Arthur Hoffman knows more about car seats than most, but says it's hard to keep up with the ever-changing technology. There are now virtually hundreds of various models. There are dozens of manufacturers, so it's become impossible for the typical family to know just what to buy for their child, what to use, how to put that into the vehicle. When it comes to our kids' safety, you can't be, you know, have enough rules, really. You can't be safe enough. I mean, our kids are like the most important thing out there. You can replace a vehicle, but you can't replace them. The Bell family gets their car seats checked every year, but this time around, we're surprised to find out that one of their car seats was deemed unsafe. Because it was in a different vehicle that we were in an accident with that they recommend that they replace them, and they were actually kind enough to replace it for us free of charge, which I thought was wonderful. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, car crashes are a leading cause of death for children 1 to 13 years old, and car seats reduce the risk of death by 71 percent for infants. If you're in an accident, that car seat is what will ultimately help save that child's life. So. I'm not going to play with my child's life like that. I would rather come out here and have it done properly and, you know, that way my, my child stays safe and alive. A lot of times at these car seat inspection events, they run across car seats that are no longer safe. So to make sure no one uses it again, they cut the straps. Probably for us about eight out of ten seats, there's something that we found wrong. And it might be something small, like the, the straps need to be a little tighter or the seatbelt wasn't done properly, um, but we almost always find something that, that needs to be corrected. And even if that's a small thing, if you have two or three small things wrong, that can add up to a big different outcome in a crash. Choosing the right car seat, the importance of registering car seats, and what to expect should that seat be recalled. Technicians at these free car seat checks go over everything, including the fact that car seats have an expiration date. A lot of times people think, oh, they just want us to buy another seat. But there's a few reasons behind expiration dates. Number one, um, technology changes. I mean, this is a field that changes all the time, whether it's laws or whether a company comes up with something new or new concept to use. Things change all the time. And if you have an older seat, it might not be regulated the way things are now. As car seats get more complicated in the name of safety, parents can keep it simple by going to experts to help protect their precious cargo. And once they come to us, if we can help them out, you know, that's what we want to do because our, our goal is always that the child leaves safer than they arrived. For this special report, I'm Katie Boomgard for 9 and 10 News at 5.